So I'm just going to introduce Meng and Eileen. Meng Shura has more than 30 years of experience and passion for midwifery and the women of families who put their trust in maternity services. In 2010, she organized the Midwifery Annual Conference in China, which is the national grade learning and communicating platform for midwives. Meng Shura is also the founder and director of the Holistic and Enhanced Modern Maternity Services System, the MMSS, in China. She has made outstanding efforts in her contribution to, to supporting the normal physiological processes and her contributions have led to and continue to upgrade and develop of midwifery services in China. She's passionate about childbirth and about in integrating traditional Chinese medicine and culture into maternity services and believes that the integrated model is the future of China's healthy and thriving nation. Irene Chain Kalinowski has practiced midwifery for 38 years and has spent her entire life passionate about midwifery, working across continents, observing systems, and learning more wonderful ways to deliver care and relate to women. She now lives and travels across China with the MMSS team as the midwifery advisor, supporting the implementation of integrated holistic maternity care and midwifery. That care puts the, the psychological, emotional and physical health of women, their babies and their families first, giving them voice and choice in all matters. I'm now going to hand over to Irene and Boone. Thank you, Meng. Okay, if you can unmute yourselves now. Excellent. Okay, well, so hi, this is Irene and I'm just going to introduce Meng Shuo. I'm happy to have been with her for five years, traveling across China, making wonderful uh, differences through education and face-to-face -face training. So I'm going to pass you on to Meng Shu, uh, who will talk to you a little bit about how we give uh, midwives uh, autonomy and voice and, cho um, voice and choice for women across China. Okay, Jenny? Okay, so last year you heard about uh, Project One from uh, Guangxi, Barma County Peoples. Uh, uh, the first project was in Tiandong, and today we're going to talk about the second project that we've got in Barma County Peoples Hospital in the remote areas of China. Okay. Okay, hello, everybody. Well, uh, everybody, I'm very happy. Uh, to share MMSS team in Bama training. Now I uh, begin. Uh, on the after twenty months of training, the secretary decreased from uh, twenty six point eight nine percent to twenty percent. Uh, if she no uh, she no time read they read at, uh, from six per, uh, six point four percent to one point four percent. Okay, ne ne next one. Uh, slides not moving. No? We got a, oh, it's, it's coming. Okay. No. We've got a problem with the slides coming. No wiki. We can we can see them. We've gone on to the next slide. Oh well, we we've got we're on to slide fifteen and nothing's showing on our screen. Hang on. Okay, we've okay. got it now. Okay. Okay. Uh this is the Bama Hospital uh place. Uh this is the uh, Mm, monkey by the mountains. Mon monkeys. I hope the Bama Hospital many many baby uh, birth. Okay. We're just coming. I think it's loading. Okay. Okay. Uh, are the pe uh, big member eighties uh, twenty eighteen the MMS SS project. The opening uh, ceremony of Obama. Um, okay, next one. Uh, there have uh, ten experts, edu 
um, in education. education, education and trainings. Uh, the founding, the foundation, the foundation of MMSS Chinese traditional culture Wang Yangming. This is important in the uh, hospital training. Let the every uh, staff change the mind to help uh, to happy work. Yes, happiness in the workplace. Uh, okay, next one. Okay. Uh, Next one. Uh, this is looking the maternal age, 30 to 22 years old, very young. This is a poor family who has experienced six births. This, <coughs> this family, um, this one, uh, family not go to hospital to check the body. So in the uh, home to birth. Yeah, so they birth at home still and there's no prenatal care because it's up in the mountains and very difficult to get down. Yes. <coughs> uh, the children here are in a very poor environment. Because this area is uh, poor in China. Uh, MMSS expert team came to the family to guide a uh, postpartum mother to recover from uh, symphysis, uh, <coughs> separation, and pain. <clears throat> so the family couldn't get into the hospital for care, so we went to the home visit to uh, to fix this, to, to provide holistic care for this family. Yes. Mm. Our team gave the treatment and the nursing uh, method. Uh, the first one, aromatherapy, uh, pubic uh, symnosis, suppressing. In, in central oil um, formula, uh, the second um, homeopathic uh, separate uh, synthesis and uh, postpartum wood healing. Uh, the three uh, Chinese medicine uh, teach non uh, traditional massage. traditional massage after six hours. Mother can get up and uh, breastfeeding and walk and walk. On the second day, uh, she can walk on the first floor. On the third day, she can walk uh, downstairs to the street. Uh, see the first ring of some sign after the birth and they invite us to have dinner with the family. We also made the first postpartum home within Tibama. After the, uh, 10 days of treatment and the midwife recair, the mother showed uh, uh, so uh, happy and uh, uh, confident uh, smile. The second kiss, uh, 35 weeks, the baby died in the womb. The expert group uh, launched, launched the energy care with conf uh, confident, comforted the uh, externally a pregnant woman gave evening a primosal oil to soften the cervix. She breathed after 22.5 uh, hours, gave aromatherapy, uh, pro promoting postpartum recovery, and the mother was uh, this uh, decreated from the hospital, discharged from hospital.
The third case. Very cold winds after um, C-section of peeling of the sources of the feet. Dry, dryness, muscle relaxing and of the legs. Safe re, re point, low energy. energy. Uh, the, the person uh, worry about uh, worry cause means in small insomnia, insomnia uh, hypnosis, hypnosis, aromatherapy, acupressure, the family relax, uh, relationship, uh, support and other medicine, methods. The mother improve, improved. The kids fall. Uh, first child woman. The the first child woman is seventeen years old. Poor nutrition. Uh, emotional de delay. The fifty kids after the vaginal delivery of the C a uh, second boy, mother, the mother's left leg and uh, pubic symphysis pain. We give aromatherapy, hot compress, Chinese medicine, a comp acupressure, and another nursing methods, and uh, uh, the effect. Uh, is re remarkable. The six kids, 20 years old woman, first pregnancy, five days, five, five, uh, five days treatment of vaginal cyst, used the essential oil formula to the, to the Affected area and homeopathy to support healing. Fifty percent glucose compressor, magne uh, magnesium uh, sulfate com compressor. The next day, the the abscess naturally uh, rupted. Pain stopped, then, uh, then held no antibiotics used. <clears throat> the seventh case, infant um, eczema was treated with Western medicine, uh, homo uh, ointment did not work. Uh, our team gave uh, gave a blood uh, eczema essential oil formula to the admin and uh, affected area and Chinese medicinal massage. The baby skin improved and so did sleep and mood. Eighteenth case, the second child child was I not delivery at full term. No interventions in the whole uh, process. The baby and the mother skin to skin and eye contact. The MMS the MMS expert group meeting with the president, head midwifery and uh, director of obstetrics. MMSS expert group works more than 10 hours a day. Hypnosis teach. We use hypnosis for teaching. We, t we educate the midwives and obstetricians to use hypnosis. Okay. This is uh, T. 
Teach the hope no. Yes, faith. and this is classroom teaching, and we're teaching the the midwives and obstetricians uh, hypnosis. If the midwifery a clinical um, experts teach the how to do uh, within to the woman. Yes, yeah, so we teach the experts how to use how to uh, do midwife and obstetric clinics. And we use lots of educational tools to be woman centered. So we're moving from system centered care. You continue, Ellie. Okay. So we're also uh, looking at uh, teaching correct abdominal palpation and how to really connect with the woman. We use uh, acupressure points. Uh, to also help reduce stress. And we also are bringing the MMS experts to teach from all over China and from uh, globally as well. So we get lots of uh, hands-on face-to-face training. We do, uh, we do theoretical training, evidence-based practice for at least uh, two weeks for each module. Okay, after the training, the midwife has undergone uh, a significant change, uh, treating and uh, treating the woman and uh, caring for her as daughter. The first birth position, seeking her husband supported her. Uh, before the husband, no uh, account. Not allowed. Uh, not allowed in the delivery rooms. Yes. Uh, this picture is natural delivery uh, after two C section. Mother, in fact, skin to skin to activate the first breastfeed. MMSS team uh, established an optic uh, appointment center, an obstetrician clinic, a midwife clinic, and a prenatal education. Obstetric clinic, midwife clinic, eco. Uh, Encourages husband to be uh, involved, loved, involved, 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 involved before the husband not in the clinic. clinic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, each clinic is uh, equipped, equipped, equipped with a uh, province and a door and educational tires. MMSS attaches attaches importance to comprehensive, preventive health education. MMSS <coughs> obstetrician expert, Professor Edson Trini Obstetric in a uh, emotion uh, emergency. emergency and uh, uh, ultrasound before in China the midwife and uh, obstetrician count to do ultrasound so MMSS let the uh, other staff uh, basic skills uh, uh, midwife and the obstetrician basic skills are basically the skill Okay, Professor Edison said that if an obstetrician would to uh, would do a basic ultrasound, it would uh, help the mother to solve solve nineteen percent of the problem at the time of delivery. Uh, this picture, MMSS expert. What runs with obstetrician and the midwife? This picture is MMSS experts 
uh, private and uh, teach health education for pregnant women and uh, families. Uh, this is Aaron to do. <laughs> uh, this picture is MMSS training infant water education. Uh, before the, the baby not uh, to do uh, swimming, now uh, we, have, uh, we help them. Okay, this is uh, Bama Obstetric Team. Mm, obstetric team, uh, doctor team, midwife team. Uh, this is midwife, oh, midwife team. Yes. Okay. And for our foundations, uh, for our training, we, Meng Su and I, have actually delivered the books, uh, the prenatal education uh, manual. We've done a labour and birth manual. And to follow is the postpartum care manual, which will be the basis of uh, integrated comprehensive care for uh, all hospitals in China working with our MMS project. So thank you all. We wait for your questions. Mm. Thank you. That was a very interesting presentation and uh, with lots of photos. It feels like you're right there. Um, I have Thank a you. question for you. Um, has the, does the team um, and the experts, do they come from the staff that you go to, um, to the hospital that you go to, or is it, you know, you're bringing in new staff to that hospital? No, we, 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 we bring only experts that have a holistic, integrated, midwifery uh, mindset. So they come from around the world and they also come from our MMS team that we choose from experts across China. They okay, must train up the people at the, at the hospital so they can continue that? Yes, so we plant the seeds in the hospital and then the hospital team become the experts and they come and teach us, I hope. Excellent. That sounds really good. Okay, so if you have any questions, just pop them in the uh, public chat box. I think that Meng, uh, Meng's done a really good job because she's only learned English this last year. So I think oh, she's done a brilliant job. <laughs> <laughs> My English is very poor, so I'm very uh, sorry. And I've had five years oh. in China. All I can say to the midwives is, what, Annie, I love you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a very poor example, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Compared to I, want, I want to uh, show you uh, more, but uh, my uh, English is not yeah. good. So maybe next year. <laughs> maybe if you're all coming to the integrated conference in New Zealand in September, we'll, we we will, we will, we're working on the English. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very, good. Very good. So is this the third hospital that you've taken the MMS project to? Yes, it's the third one, and we well actually it's, it's been a, it's the MMS project that is uh, we we're putting into whole hospitals, but we've been training for the last twelve years across China, so many many hospitals, but now we're going even bigger because Meng and I have designed a, a midwifery curric training curriculum for comprehensive care, yes, and to be working with the midwifery colleges, yes, to implement it, so. It all tallies in with your presentations that you had earlier. Uh, mm. So it's wonderful. We're so excited. Uh, you can help them. Uh, we begin to uh, go to the university, yes. teach the midwife, use the MMS. Yes, we're teaching the midwifery educators uh, to use the MMS uh, philosophy framework and background for midwives so that there will be a continuum so the student midwives will have systems supporting the midwifery philosophy yes we'll have a continuum so we're very excited I think the sound I think we've lost the sound 
No, I'm here. I just want to talk to you, Daisy. Okay. Um, Davis has a question here. Do you have any information on the outcomes of your project? Yeah, well, we're collecting start, uh, data. It's in, it's, in, it's in the early stages. We're, we're collecting data each month from the hospitals uh, to see the changes. And we're actually starting research. A research, research centre yes. will, will be developed this year. So, yes, we, we are collecting as much as we can and we're getting the experts to come and help us how to do it because we're, we're, we're jack of all trades but not master of all of them. But it's exciting. How many outcomes are you interested in getting? How many what? I didn't hear that. What, kind of, what sort of outcomes are you interested in? Well, we're looking at, at, at everything from from uh, from not just birthing outcomes and hospital outcomes, but outcomes from the midwives and feedback from women, and to actually start new research with the integrated care. We have a software system that's just been developed. It's just been translate transcribed into Chinese to help us with this. So we can, we're going to monitor student midwife outcomes and training, and that will inform our research and education. Mm. Awesome. And can you just um, let the people know who are listening what you mean by the integrated care, like what factors um, or, or what different areas are brought into this care? Like you've touched on it a little bit in the slides. You mentioned aromatherapy um, and you mentioned homeopathy. What, okay. else, what else do you bring in? Well, we have midwives and obstetricians in the same classroom in China, and we teach them all the basic skills for aromatherapy, homeopathy, hypnosis, massage, all the things the midwife should be able to do, we yes. believe. Yes. Uh, so we're training them all those basic skills and safe skills, and we've got referral guidelines for what they can do and what they need to refer onwards. For the midwifery skill, we can do, we can do. Teach. Yes, so we teach all those skills. Yeah, yeah. because uh, our ex uh, birth team uh, have a, a doctor, midwife, and a nurse, and uh, another um, expert together. So, uh, so we are a big team. Yes, and we're growing. We're growing very big. Oh, yeah. We're growing rapidly, and we've got more and more hospitals queuing up. So we're going to be constantly growing. So we're very excited. We we to do this uh, ten years. Ten years ago, begin to do this. So we are growing fast, quickly, and and changing what mindsets. You know, because if you go into the cities, a lot of Chinese women are so used to C sections mm. and medicalized care. But we're coming out from the remote in uh, areas, so we're sweeping inwards. Mm. Yes, we're coming from out within to make these positive changes happen, and they are happening. And so the reason why you're doing that, coming from the outside in, is that because there was a different philosophy or mindset around birth in the outer well, areas? you've got to look at the history. Well, there's more, we see we've got more Chinese uh, hospitals, medicine, Chinese medicine hospitals out in our remoter areas because you have to remember what happened in 1929 when they sent the missionaries to outwash Chinese medicine homeopathy. Yeah? There was actually four homeopathic hospitals in Shanghai in, in, in the year 1909, but this was all wiped out with, the, with our uh, pharmaceutical research. So if we go to Beijing, it's still medically controlled. You've still got obstetricians controlling birth and it's hard to break. So we're coming in from the outside because midwifery needs to be where it needs to be and in an integrated form. So we're bringing back Chinese tradition and we're bringing back the philosophy mm. and we're integrating care. Yes. So we have a question um, from Deborah Davis here. I'm also interested in Chinese women's expectations around childbirth. Is physiological birth something that is desirable? Of 
course, all women want physiological birth, except for we've had such a high C-section rate before, and it's just no different than if you go to Australia and other countries where women have been shown the medical way and they accept it. And we have to change those mindsets in the bigger cities. But if we're in the rural areas, the women, the women want no more. Mm. Yes. So it just depends which region we go to. Every province is, is a little bit different. Mm. So we're we're destined to change these mindsets, and we are get, we are seeing normal birth, and we've got the Chinese government supporting us, supporting that they want that reduction in interventions and C sections. So we have that support. Yeah, that's that's really excellent. And um, how do you find? I guess if you have such a, a high c-section rate or first cesarean and how's the reaction then around um v-back and, and are women keen to to try for a v-back well that's because yes they are because we created prenatal education around mm. v-back and because the we, we we've trained the obstetricians have a midwifery mindset to support normal philosophy mm. physiology mm. so we've got midwives and obstetricians and pediatricians walking on the same line which you don't see in our western countries i never saw many obstetricians in the same classroom learning about normal birth with the midwives and this is what we're able to do here in china yeah yes before the obstetrician not uh, learning normal birth uh, so now we are training all the staff see no needs about normal birth and how we, so we have obstetricians learning about how to move the pelvis yes <laughs> <laughs> and they're showing the women in the obstetric clinics how to move their pelvis yes <laughs> because that's the way it should be <laughs> Absolutely, that's fantastic. You, you don't end up with a divide then, but the them and us culture, which is you know what happens in many many other in many other countries. If you if you're all starting from the same viewpoint, I guess mm. then um, you know obviously it, the women are going to benefit from that. It's a huge difference, and also the thing is as well is that we not because we've all got the same you know philosophy what i find as well is is we've, we've got systems supporting everyone i found that as a midwife and you go out because i was independent midwife you go in and you're a woman's voice but then you're dealing with a medicalized system so then you end up taking the bullets and you get stressed out which is all what about we had earlier in the presentations today so we're trying to avoid that to preserve our midwives and obstetricians and keep them happy in the workplace and love their job and then women benefit too. Excellent. So, Thank you so much. Uh, I, if there are any other um, questions, I can't see any there. There's some, some very positive comments thanking you for the great job you've done and that it's a great step towards changing practice and that we need obstetricians from all countries to be this open-minded so um yes very positive uh, and uh, positive comments for your work so hopefully in future vidms you can come back and tell us more about the projects that you have done and where else that you've gone and the mm, outcomes well, yeah well hopefully next year we can talk about the 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 the, the model that the curriculum we've put together for midwives and also we're very proud because May, Stu and I met and we're both midwives leading this change, so we feel very special. <laughs> Excellent, as it should be. Normal, uh, birth, midwives know about um, normal labour and birth. <laughs> that's right, we need to, we need, and that's how we can change the, the obstetric mindset here, which is so much easier. Then, and that's why we appreciate all you midwives across the world with the challenges that you have. So thank you. Thank you.